What's going on everyone, Andrew from o &T Games here, talking about the UFC Oklahoma City Fight Night. Is it still too soon to make a Kevin Durant joke? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it for now. Now, I know there wasn't a lot of exciting fights on this card, I know most of the action came Saturday night for Bellator's debut in New York City, so we'll just talk about a few. Now the former two division champion and Hall of Famer BJ Penn led off the main card taking on Dennis Seaver. You could say BJ Penn is probably the most beloved guy in UFC, if not MMA history. And a lot of people want him to retire. He's kind of just becoming a punching bag, and it's really too sad to see someone of his talent and what he's done for the sport to become what he's becoming. Uh, unfortunately, he did take a unanimous decision loss to Seaver, and it wasn't his best fight, that's for sure. He had a great second round. He actually knocked Seaver down with a jab uppercut. But besides that, he didn't do too much. See, the thing with BJ is all of his moves, all of his punches, kicks, they all come from behind the jab. And he did not establish that jab well enough to do anything. Seaver mixed up lots of spitting kicks, regular kicks, punches, elbows, knees really well, and BJ just had no answer. Uh, you could tell that third round, like, his leg was swollen like crazy. He had no answer for the leg kicks, and ultimately it cost him the fight. So going forward, I don't know. I know BJ, he retired and came back because he said he was lost without fighting. And it's 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 just a shame because he's such a legend and he's got nothing really to do left in this game. But he'll probably keep fighting. So we'll see what happens with him. Next, we have the hometown boy, Johnny Hendricks, taking on the Barbarian, Tim Boach. Now, Hendricks said over his last few fights, he's not going to try 170 anymore. A, because he can't make the weight straight up. And B, because he can't afford to lose 20% of his purse for missing that weight. Now his second fight at 185, and guess what, he missed the weight. Weighed in at 188, and I don't know what his, what his deal is, you know, you're supposed to be professional in the sport, especially for a former champion. I don't know if he needs a new nutritionist, or if he just needs to get more discipline and focus on the fight, but either way, he needs to figure things out soon or he's going to get cut, just like Rumble Johnson did back in 2012, I believe it was. He missed weight a few times, lost a few fights, and UFC cut him, so hopefully Hendricks can figure it out. Now, the first round of this fight, uh, you could tell Boach didn't want to get clipped by the left hand bomb, so he continued circling to Johnny's right, and Johnny countered that by using the right kicks trying to get him to circle to the left. Solid first round, but in the second round, Boach landed a clean head kick, then suffocated Johnny with strikes and like 6 or 7 uppercuts to get the TKO victory. Now I feel bad for Johnny, I mean ever since that GSP loss, I've really been a big fan of Johnny, and hopefully he can figure out the weight issues. Sucks that he lost in his hometown, but I don't know. I don't know what's next for him. I hope he doesn't get cut, but we'll see. Now, the main event that had Michael Chiesa taking on Kevin Lee was a real disappointment. Now, this fight was really built up from the press conference and Kevin Lee saying something about Chiesa's mom. But as you would call it, it got Yamasaki. <laughs> now, Kevin Lee had Chiesa in a rear naked choke, like 30 seconds left in the first round, and... You can see Kiesa's arms go up a little bit, and Mario Yamasaki, the ref, called it. You can see Kiesa jumped up right away, saying, I didn't tap. He didn't tap. He wasn't out. Nobody really understands why that fight was called, but it was. So Kevin Lee got the win. Now, you got to wonder, like, how many times does Mario Yamasaki have to make the wrong call in a fight for the UFC to say, you know, stop refing our, our matches? I know they don't really have a say. It's the commissions uh, for each state in each country, but they ha it's the UFC. They're worth billions of dollars. I'm sure they could pull some strings. It's just getting ridiculous now. So I know a lot of people you can see on Twitter are saying the refs need like some sort of cameras or instant replays, but in that kind of situation, like would that really help? Like yes, they it would help. You could review and see he didn't tap, he wasn't out. But what do you do? You know, 30 seconds left in the round. You're not going to stand them up, that doesn't make any sense, so you put them back in the same position, but as that as that fight was getting reviewed, you know, Kiesa's had time to catch his breath and recover. I'm sure Kevin's Lee, Kevin Lee's arms are still stinging a little bit. So, he's like a fresh fighter going into a choke for 30 seconds, like, there's, there's no way, no good way to fix this, and it's just unfortunate that this got called so early. Now, you know, people are talking about running it back in December. I don't know if it'd have the same hype, like... Yes, it's in Detroit, Kevin Lee, Motown Phenom's hometown, but they're not going to beef each other like they did in the press conference, because it doesn't make any sense why they would. So I don't know, I, Kevin Lee called out Khabib, I would love to see those two fight. Both great on the ground, both great with chokes. So who knows, but it's just it's just a real shame that main event, people have been waiting for months for this, got called because Mario Yamasaki continues to miss calls, but it's whatever.
Thanks a lot for watching. As you can see in the background, there's no image of Kevin Lee's arm getting raised. I mean, the guy's only been in the UFC since 2014, and he's actually not in the video game, so shout out to EA for that one. So we'll just continue playing this fight. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like and hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time.